tough acts to follow here. Right? You seem to. Yes. So, uh, my pleasure to use Thomas Marchant for his, uh, his 30 year penny. Again, class of 87, as you, you've heard all about for many years. Uh, Thomas, can I tell you about Thomas? So, Thomas uh, lives in the Santa Clarita Valley, married to Raquel. Uh, he has three children uh, Alexa, who is, get this, 13. That's correct. Pierce is 12. Correct. Luke is 10. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Okay, yeah. I know that goes. Um, grew up locally with Valley Village Christian. <clears throat> attended L.A. Valley College, uh, where he uh, did, uh, ended up with a uh, fire science degree, AS degree there. And uh, he was quickly hired by the GFD at the uh, age of 19. I'm not going to tell how old he is now, but he, he was 19 when he started. <laughs> so, uh, but he had some great jobs before he started here which are synonymous a little bit with fire service. The first one was Baskin Robbins. Yeah. So all the fire guys get that, all the ice cream thing going, so you know what a cut gallon was before he started. <laughs> he was a house cleaner, which I thought was kind of interesting here, Tom. St. Joe's, a surgery tech, and he worked uh, at some time at Universal Studios as a, the emergency response team. So, uh, I think that's pretty deep. I went deep, I went to the back of the <laughs> packet there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave some of it out. But, uh, yeah. so, <laughs> but uh, you know, <clears throat> knowing Tom, he, he's had a pretty amazing career in his 30 year, distinguished career, I would say. He's held every rank, uh, like uh, Chief Rafino, he's held every rank in the department, as a, and he's been engaged through every single one. He's a firefighter, uh, hazmat team, explorer advisor, a mentor to many, um, to go out in fires outside of this local area, and hey, you know Tom Martin, he was my explorer advisor in 88, 89, you know, and, and, and it's pretty amazing the impact he's had on, on a lot of people. As an engineer, did, uh, sometimes an engineer, and also in the Fire Prevention Bureau, and then as a captain, uh, a, a lot of work there, because he was a fire captain for uh, for quite some time, and worked in train, the training division, fire captain, engine company, truck company, hazmat, uh, PIO, did some great PIO work. Uh, for those of you who've been around, Glendale Fire On Call, live call-in show. <laughs> this guy, remember how fun that show was? You're dating yourself right? if you, if you, if you remember that, that show. <laughs> the best part was the calls came from the fire station. Because, you know, <laughs> GTV6 wasn't what it, what it is now. You know, it, you know, it's up there now. But uh, back in the day, it was, hey, call the state, call, ask Tom a question. You know? <laughs> we tried, we tried, to, tried to stop them, but we couldn't. He would, uh, he would nail it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, what else do you got here about Tom? Uh, 2010 Distinguished Service Award for Fire Captain, um, something to be proud of. And uh, he just uh, recently received his bachelor's degree, just in the last uh, what, month, from uh, Columbia Southern University in Fire Technology, so we're very proud of that. Um, uh, as a battalion chief, uh, worked the uh, ops section, A shift and B shift, for the last uh, four years up until this, this year, and currently he's a fire marshal. And I would, uh, I would say he's doing an amazing job with our fire prevention, and uh, hope the back row agrees. But uh, <laughs> we've been doing some, we've done some, we've done some great stuff, and, um, and we really appreciate that. One of the things I didn't touch on with Tom is Tom is a, uh, one of the first members of this department to really get engaged in the, uh, the incident management team realm outside of our local area. <clears throat> And he's uh, currently on a uh, incident type one incident management team that uh, manages large incidents throughout the country. Uh, team four is in California incident uh, management team four uh, as a uh, plan section chief one, which is uh, is an, uh, an amazing accomplishment, especially in the time that he's been involved and how he's, he's shot up through through the system. And and he's he's a star in the, in, the, in that realm as well. I I know so many people in in the in the incident command system that travel around and they all, they all know Tom, they all know the amazing work he does. And uh, so, I don't know what else I can say about you, Tom. Appreciate everything you do, amazing man. Thank you very much. Thank you.
So real quick, if you don't mind, um, my uh, family couldn't be here other than technologically on FaceTime. Um, so they're actually watching this, so I get to talk about them, brag about them a little bit. But, thumbs up, by the way. <laughs> 30 years ago, um, the city of Glendale took a risk on a 19-year-old. Um, I got a pretty high score too, Chief. It was a 98.5, and I thought I was in. Turned out they gave about 2100s, and I was somewhere way down on that list. But uh, as fortune, fate, maybe a little bit of luck would have it, they managed to chunk their way down to 26, which was me, and I made uh, one of the last, uh, took one of the last seats, one of the last two seats in that academy <clears throat> 30 years ago, April 20th. And to every one of my classmates that's here, you had a significant role in getting me to graduation. Um, and as we know, that was just the beginning. Um, it took a lot of help from a lot of coworkers, a lot of understanding supervisors to get me uh, through that first half of my career. And then I was lucky enough to run into somebody who was willing to uh, give me those three children and that family carried me through the, the second half. Um, people ask me, with 30 years, what, what are your plans? And I say, well, I'm out of here between two and 10. Two and 10 years. Um, it's become a joke amongst the command staff because I've been saying that for, well, over two years. Um, but the truth is, when you get up in the morning and you get to go to work, uh, why would you think of doing anything different? Um, so I had three very young kids at home. Um, a 13-year-old, she's going on 19, um, and, and two avid ice hockey players who, uh, you know, I love watching them skate. Um, we got a we got a long road ahead of us, a fun road ahead of us, and so man, I got nothing to say, uh, but thank you to obviously the community uh, for the position they've given me and entrusted me in. But as I look around, I see a lot of executives of each division throughout the city. Um, you guys run a tight ship, and for the last thirty years, it's been a uh, one heck of a ride. Thanks for having me on it. All right, so. Thank you.